A counteroffensive by Ukrainian forces now punching through the Russian front line in the country's east. Ukrainian troops liberating the city of Izium in the country's northeast from Russian control, advancing rapidly. Russia's troops abandoning the city, its forces in Ukraine's northern Donbass region in disarray. The Kremlin not acknowledging a retreat, the defense minister instead saying the decision was made to regroup their troops. The Ukrainian counteroffensive helped by billions of dollars in military aid from the U.S. and other Western allies. Secretary of State Antony Blinken making a surprise trip to Ukraine this week, meeting with President Volodymyr Zelensky and announcing another $2.6 billion in assistance for the country and its neighbors. Discussing the aid package Friday alongside NATO's Secretary general in Brussels. Supporting Ukraine's capacity to defend itself, sustaining pressure on Russia for its aggression, ensuring that Ukraine is in the strongest position when conditions are right for negotiations. Meanwhile, concerns continue to grow over renewed shelling, causing more damage to Ukraine's Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, the largest of its kind in Europe. The head of the UN's nuclear watchdog worried about a possible nuclear catastrophe, warning the situation is precarious. A nuclear power plant can never be a pawn of war. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.